What's going on guys? T-Mart here and welcome back to an episode of Call of Duty Ghost Killer Class Setup. So series where I give you guys some new class setup ideas for weapons and setups that are a little bit less common, a little bit more unique, but you can still do very well with them and, and have a lot of fun. So uh, today's class involves the Honey Badger, a base weapon that I have a mix of success and failure with. It's kind of off and on. Sometimes I do really well, sometimes I don't do that great. But when you add a couple of attachments to it, it becomes one of my favorite weapons. It's an absolute beast and most weapons can't compete with it at pretty much any range. So uh, this thing is definitely a jack of all trades. Now, the setup, what attachments am I putting on it? Well, because it's the Honey Badger, technically it automatically has a silencer on it. It's integrated in, it doesn't take any perk slots, so that's a good thing. And then also, I add grip and semi-automatic fire to it. So uh, why does this work? Because that sounds absolutely crazy, right? That's totally different than what you would expect, but that's the point of this series, to give you guys new class setups. So uh, why it works is you get a damage boost from the semi-auto attachment. It turns the Honey Badger from a 3 to 5 shot kill to a 2 to 4 shot kill with an emphasis on 2 to 3 shots. Like in most situations it's going to be a 2 to 3 shot kill. You only get in the 4 shot kill range if you're really far away. Like I'm talking cross map or long range gunfights on like Stonehaven and Whiteout and some of the bigger maps. So for the most part you're going to be getting 2 to 3 shot kills which is better than any of the other assault rifles. The only other assault rifle that can do that is the MSBS and that thing has a ton more recoil as you're going to see here in a second. Uh, and then also like the AK-12 and the Remington R5 are pretty powerful, but they're not near as powerful as this Honey Badger is with the uh, with the semi-auto on it. Now, uh, the next reason why this class setup works is because of the reduced recoil. You know, both of your attachments are helping out with this. Obviously the grip, that's what it's meant to do. But then also, because the weapon is semi-auto now, you physically cannot fire this thing as fast as you could if it was full auto. There's like a fire rate limiter. It doesn't matter how fast your trigger finger is. So because you're putting less shots down range, it's not gonna kick as much. You're gonna be able to stay on target better. Like, check out these two bullet spreads. This right here, is like an average medium to longer-ish range gunfight. Check it out with semi-auto firing as fast as I can and then switch over to full auto and you're gonna see the spread is like twice as big. You know, the, the semi-auto one, check this out, it's literally not even wider than somebody's body. So every single one of those shots would have hit somebody if you were aiming center mass, which is pretty impressive. Now, uh, next up, finally, the last reason why this thing works is because there's a stealth factor already built in with that integrated silencer. You know, you, you could put semi-auto and a grip on any other assault rifle or any other SMG, you know, any other weapon in the game, but because the Honey Badger has this built-in silencer, it's giving you that added extra bonus of staying off the radar, which is very, very uh, important, you know, unless you wanted to use the extra attachment perk, but that's going to, you know, take off three crucial perk points going to be important later, which we'll talk about in a second. So, uh, yeah, those three reasons are why this class setup is is really, really crazy good against most other weapons at pretty much any range. Now, uh, tips, how do you need to use this class setup? Well, the first thing you need to know is that your first shot is the most crucial shot out of any weapon in the the game because this thing is semi-auto it is at a disadvantage if you don't get the first shot on the enemy if they hit you first and make your aim go flying you're gonna be all over the place you probably won't get the kill especially at close range if you get the first shot on them and make their aim go flying there's no way you're gonna lose that gunfight because you know you only have to put two shots or three shots to kill them so uh, your first shot you know although it's not absolutely a hundred percent critical you can still win gunfights without getting the first shot if you do get the first shot, you're almost guaranteed the win of that gunfight. So just try to always make sure your first shot is on target. You're going to have a lot better luck. And then also... Manage your gunfights. Manage your distance. Control the distance that you're engaging enemies. This thing, it's not bad at close range. Like, it's still pretty good at close range, especially if you have a good trigger finger, but it definitely shines at medium to long range. There are no assault rifles that can beat this thing at medium to long range, whereas close range, you know, shotguns, SMGs, and things might have a better chance of beating it. So try to stay out of close quarters combat with this thing if you can. Although, if you have to go in somewhere close quarters, then, then it's not a bad weapon to have by your side. Now, finally, for the last part of this, what do you want for the rest of the class, like perks and things like that? Well, uh, as you guys know, as I say in all my videos, I don't like running secondaries most of the time, and I really don't like using lethals or tacticals. I like loading up on perks. Uh, in terms of perks for this weapon, the three mandatory ones that you absolutely must run with this class are a ready up and quick draw, just because you want to be able to aim down sight faster, whether you're just aiming or aiming after sprinting, whatever it may be. You want to be able to aim down sight and get that first shot on target. And then also focus is greatly important, because if you don't get that first shot on target, 
you don't want to flinch that much and focus helps with that so those are the three perks that are you know really kind of mandatory with this class setup with the other ones you can do whatever you want you could use stalker which is pretty good in assault rifles you could use uh, you know marathon agility all kinds of stuff uh, there are also two other perks that really complement this class pretty well if you want to go stealthy and that's off the grid and takedown you know both of those will be really good to stay off the radar for UAVs as well as take out enemies without their you know death skulls showing up on the uh, uh, their teammates you know kind of screens so so you know that kind of complements the integrated silencer very well but but those definitely aren't mandatory but make sure you use ready up quick draw and focus because without those perks this gun is, is a lot worse so uh, there you guys have it that is this episode of Call of Duty Ghost Killer Class Setup this like I said I've recently been trying it out and it's now one of my favorite classes and every time I've used it I've done really well so I really want you guys to try this out and see how it works for you make sure you go try it out come back here leave a comment letting me know how you liked it and, and yeah hopefully you guys do well with it so if you guys have any other class setups or suggestions that you know of that are really good make sure to leave them down in the comments I'll try them out and you might see them featured in an episode of this series in the meantime thank you guys so much for watching check out one of the other two videos you haven't seen yet and I'll catch you guys later peace out